Would you like a drink, sir? Uh, yes, a uh, Diet Coke, please. Ice and lemon? Just lemon. Here you are. Thank you. Coffee, please. Milk? Yes, please. Sugar? No, thanks. Here you are. Thanks. Hello, are you Mark Ryder? Yes, are you Ali? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. And you. Welcome to the UK. Your hotel's in the city centre. How far is it? It's about 30 minutes if the traffic's OK. Great. Would you like a coffee first? No, I'm fine, thanks. All right, let's go. My car's in the car park. Can I help you with your bags? No, it's OK, thanks. Good evening, sir. Hello, I have a reservation. My name's Mark Ryder. Can you spell that, please? R-Y-D-E-R. -E For five nights. Yes, that's right. Can I have your passport, please? Just a moment. Here you are. Can you sign here, please? Do you want a smoking or non-smoking room? Uh, non-smoking, please. Here's your key. It's room 425 on the fourth floor. Thank you. Oh, where's the lift? It's over there. Do you need help with your bags? No, it's OK, thanks. Enjoy your stay, Mr Ryder. Thank you. Where are you from in the United States, Mark? The West Coast, San Francisco. Is it nice? Oh, yeah, it's a great city. Are you from London? No, I'm from Cambridge. My family live there, but I live here in London. Sorry. Hello, darling, how are you? I'm fine, yeah. Don't worry. Fine, fine. That's great. Bye, darling. I love you. Sorry. That's okay. Your wife? No, 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 my daughter. She always phones me when I'm traveling. How old is she? She's nine. She lives with her mother in Los Angeles. We're divorced. Are you married? No, I'm not. How old are you? <laughs> That's very personal. What do you think? 25, 26? <laughs> Thanks, I'm 27. How old are you? I'm 34. Oh. Would you like another drink? Oh, no, thanks. I have to go now, Mark. Our first meeting's at 10. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ali. Good night. Good night. Can I help you? What would you like? A cappuccino, please. Regular or large? Large, please. And can I have an espresso, please? To have here or take away? To have here. Anything else? No, thanks. A brownie for me, please. OK. How much is that? Together or separate? Together. That's 6.45, please. Sorry, how much? 6.45. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Look, there's a free table over there. And here you are. Oh! Oh! I'm really sorry. Don't worry. It's always the same. When I wear white, something like this always happens. Look, first I'll get you another coffee, then we can go shopping. Shopping? Yeah, I want to buy you a new shirt. You can't go to a meeting like that. But we don't have time. The next meeting's at 12.30. We have time. It's only 11. Are you sure? Yes. Sit down and relax. Let's have coffee and then go. 
Well, okay. Can I help you? Yes. What size is this shirt? Let's see. A small. What size do you want? A medium. This is a medium. Thanks. Where can I try it on? The changing rooms are over there. Thank you. It's fine. How much is it? $34.99. Do you take American Express? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Mark. Oh, you're welcome. I'm really sorry about the coffee. That's okay. It's late. Our meeting's at 12.30. We can take a taxi. Okay. Do you like the shirt? Well, yeah. It's exactly the same as the other one. The same? It's completely different. Sorry. <laughs> Typical man. Allie, can I ask you something? Yeah. What? Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Tonight? Yeah, you see, it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I'm sorry, but I can't have dinner tonight. I'm busy. Oh. How about Friday night? Friday? Well, OK. Do you know a good restaurant? Let me think. Do you like Italian food? I love it. Well, there's a new Italian restaurant. We can go there. Good idea. Taxi. Can I help you? How much is that T-shirt? It's fifteen sixty. Sorry. How much did you say? Fifteen sixty. And how much are those mugs? The big mugs are ten twenty-five, and the small ones are eight seventy-five. Can I have a big mug, please? Sure. Here you are. Anything else? Do you have birthday cards? Sorry, we've only got postcards. Oh, well, just the mug then. That's 10.25. Here you are. Have you got the 25? Uh, yes. Here. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Allie. Wow, you look great. Nice dress. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is for you, for your birthday. I bought you a little present. Oh, oh no! I hope it isn't broken. It's a mug. It was a mug. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Mark. No problem. It was really nice of you. I'll get you another one tomorrow. Don't worry. Listen, did you call a taxi to go to the restaurant? No, I have my car outside. Come on, it's time to go. I booked the table for eight, and I'm not sure exactly where the restaurant is. Hey, Allie, relax. This isn't work, this is a night out. Sorry, I'm a bit stressed today. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, where's King Street, please? Sorry, I don't know. Excuse me, is King Street near here? King Street? It's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to King Street? Yes, go straight on. Go past the church and then turn left at the traffic lights, and then I think it's the second on the right. Sorry, could you say that again, please? Yes. Go straight on, go past the church, and then turn left at the traffic lights, and then I think it's the second on the right. Thank you. OK, it's this street. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm sure she said the first on the right. No, she said the second on the right. Relax, Allie. Look, let's ask that man there. 
I don't think he knows. He's a tourist. Just ask him, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Excuse me. We're lost. Do you know where King Street is? Sorry, I don't live here. I'm a tourist. See, I was right. Okay, let's try the second on the right. Here it is, King Street. I knew she said the second on the right. There's the restaurant, Donatella's. Can you see anywhere to park? That white car's going over there. Do you think you can park in that space? Are you saying I can't park? <laughs> Allie, I'm only joking. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Good evening. Do you have a reservation? Yes, a table for two. My name's Ali Gray. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Come this way, please. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like the onion soup and then the steak, please. The goat's cheese salad and the lasagna for me, please. What would you like to drink? Would you like some wine? No, thanks. Just mineral water for me. Okay. A glass of red wine and a bottle of mineral water, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How was the pasta? It was delicious. Listen, Ali, there's something I want to ask you. Yes? What? Would you like a dessert? Yes, please. What is there? Tiramisu ice cream or fruit salad. Fruit salad, please. And you, sir? Nothing for me, thanks. Ali. Yes? Go on, Mark. Um... Well, tomorrow's my last day. And I think we... I mean, I... I really like meeting you, and... I... Here you are. Fruit salad. Would you like any coffee? Yes, an espresso, please. The same for me, please. Sorry, Mark. Do you want to come to California next month? There's a big conference. I'm going to be there. Why don't you come? What do you think? Two espressos. Anything else? A uh, little brandy? A no. Thank you. What do you say, Ali? I'm not sure, Mark. I need some time to think about it, okay? All right. But please tell me before I go. Okay. Could we have the check, please? S sorry, the check? The bill, Mark. We're in Britain, remember? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Could we have the bill, please? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I have my bill, please? I'm checking out. Which room is it? Room 425. Did you have anything from the minibar last night? Yes, a mineral water. Here you are. How would you like to pay? American Express. Thank you. Okay. Can you sign here, please? Thank you. Would you like me to call a taxi for you? No, thanks. Do you need any help with your luggage? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Have a good trip, Mr. Ryder. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello? Hi, Mark. It's Ali. I'm really sorry, but the traffic this morning is terrible. I'm going to be very late. OK. I think the best thing is for you to take a taxi to the station and then get the train to the airport. No problem. I'll call a taxi. Well, thanks for everything. No, listen. I'll meet you at the airport. We can say goodbye there. All right. Uh, where can we meet? At the information desk. OK. See you there. Bye. Excuse me, uh, change of plan. Could you call me a taxi, please? To the station. Hello. Sorry I can't take your call. 
Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Allie, this is Mark. Where are you? I'm at the information desk. My flight leaves in 40 minutes. Mark, Mark, sorry I'm late. Uh, don't worry, I'm just happy you got here. Come on, you're gonna miss your flight. Wait a minute. Are you gonna come to the conference in California? Am I gonna see you again? The plane's going to leave without you. Allie. I asked my boss this morning and he said, yes, I can go. Great, I don't have your home phone number. Don't worry, I'll email it to you tomorrow. This is the final call for all passengers on flight BA-287 to San Francisco. Please proceed immediately to gate 12. Goodbye, Allie. And thanks for everything. Goodbye, Mark. Have a safe trip. See you in California. Bye. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Where are you arriving from? From London. What's the purpose of your visit? Business. I'm here for a conference. How long are you staying in the US? A week. Where are you staying? In San Francisco at the Pacific View Hotel. Do you know anybody here? Yes, Mark Ryder. Is he family or a friend? He's a colleague and a friend. Do you have his phone number? Yes, his mobile is 405-655-7182. Is this your first visit to the US? Yes, it is. Enjoy your stay in San Francisco. Thank you. Allie, hi. Hi, Mark. You look great. You too. How are you? I'm fine. How was the flight? Long, 11 hours. Oh, you must be really tired. Yes, I couldn't sleep at all. The people next to me had a baby with them. <laughs> What's the time here? I need to change my watch. It's seven in the evening. It's three in the morning for me. Okay, I'm gonna take you right to the hotel and you can rest. Fine. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> you are gonna love San Francisco. I'm so pleased you came. Me too. It's great to see you again. Come on, my car's in the parking lot. Let's go. Good evening, ma'am. How can I help you? Good evening. I have a reservation. My name's Alison Gray. I'm here for the MTC conference. Just a moment. Ah, here it is. Ms. Gray. For six nights? That's right. Okay, Ms. Gray. Here's your key. You're in room 419 on the fourth floor. Thank you. What time's breakfast? From 7 to 9 in the Pavilion Restaurant on the sixth floor. Thanks. Where's the lift? The elevators are over there. Thanks. Do you need any help with your bags? Yes, please. Hello, reception. Hello, this is room 419. How can I help you? I have a problem with the air conditioning. It isn't working and it's very hot in my room. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll send someone up to look at it right now. Thank you. Room service can I help you? Hello, this is room 419. Can I have a tuna sandwich, please? Whole wheat or white bread? Whole wheat, please. With or without mayo? Without. With french fries or salad? Salad, please. Anything to drink? Yes, a Diet Coke. With ice and lemon? Just ice. He'll be there in five minutes, ma'am. Thank you. Here you go, Allie, a cappuccino. See, I remembered. Well done. Thanks. Did you sleep well? Yes, very well. How are things? They're fine. What are the plans for the week? Well, today we don't have any free time, but mm -hmm. tomorrow I'm going to take you to this great little restaurant I know. That sounds good. And then on Wednesday night, there's a cocktail party here at the hotel, and then a conference dinner on Thursday. Is there anything special you want to do? Well, I'd like to see the bay and the Golden Gate Bridge, mm -hmm. and I'd like to go shopping if there's time. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Hi, Brad. I'm fine. Just fine. Aren't you going to introduce me? 
Oh, uh, sure. Allie, this is Brad Martin. Brad works in the Los Angeles office. Brad, this is Allie Gray from the London office. Hello. Hi, Allie. Great to meet you. Mark told me you were very nice, but he didn't tell me you were so beautiful. <laughs> so is this your first time in San Francisco? Yes. Yes, it is. Has Mark shown you the sights? Well, not yet. Then maybe I can show you around. I love this city. Uh, Allie, it's time to go. Excuse us, Brad. Well, great to meet you, Allie. See you around. Yes, nice to meet you too. Goodbye. Bye. Are you ready to order? Yes, to start a tomato and mozzarella salad. Is that right, Allie? Yes. And the mushroom soup for me. And for your main course? I'll have the fried chicken. With french fries or a baked potato? A baked potato, please. And for you, sir? And I'd like the steak with french fries. How would you like your steak? Rare, medium, well done? Rare, please. And to drink? Could you bring us the wine list, please? Chicken for you, ma'am. And steak for you, sir. I'm sorry, but I asked for a baked potato, not fries. No problem. I'll change it. Excuse me. Yes, sir? I asked for my steak rare, and this is well done. I'm very sorry. I'll send it back to the kitchen. Could we have the check, please? Yes, sir. Your check. Thanks. Excuse me. I think there's a mistake in the check. We only had two glasses of wine, not a bottle. Yes, you're right. I'm very sorry. It's not my day today. I'll get you a new check. Thank you. Your check, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. That was a lovely dinner. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. How's your daughter? Jennifer? She's fine. She's with her mother in Los Angeles. Mark. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Something personal? Sure. What? How long were you married? Uh, three years. Why did you break up? There were a lot of reasons. We were very young when we had Jennifer. We were both working very hard. We didn't spend much time together. The usual story. Mm. What about you, Allie? Well, there was someone. I met him when I was at university. We were together for two years. We broke up. Why? I don't know. Usual story. <laughs> Thank you. Listen. Oh, it's early. It's only nine o'clock. Shall we go for a walk? Good idea. Where should we go? There's a place called Fisherman's Wharf. It's right on the bay. There are a lot of cafes and bars. We could have another cup of coffee. Fine. Let's go. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? I want to go shopping. Where's the best place to go? Well, all the big department stores are around Union Square. Can you tell me how to get there? Yes, of course. Go out of the hotel and turn left. Go straight ahead down Sutter Street. Turn left at Stockton. It's the third street on the left. Union Square will be right in front of you. You can't miss it. Thanks. And a good museum. Well, SF MoMA is fantastic. Sorry, where did you say? SF MoMA, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Where is it? On 3rd Street. How far is it from Union Square? Not far, it's just a couple of blocks. Can I walk from there? Sure, it'll take you 10 minutes. Can you show me on the map? Yes. Union Square is here, and the museum is here. From Union Square, you go down Geary to the end and turn right. That's 3rd Street. Go down 3rd, and you'll see SF MoMA on the left. What time does it open? It opens at 11. Thanks very much. Have a good day. I'm sure you'll love the museum. Oh, where is it? Excuse me, can you tell me the way to Union Square? Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so. Allie, I'm Brad. 
Brad Martin from the Los Angeles office. I'm Mark's friend, remember? We met yesterday at the hotel. Oh, yes, that's right, Brad. I'm so sorry. No problem. What are you doing here? I want to go shopping. I'm looking for Union Square, but I'm lost. Where's Mark? He's at the hotel. He had a meeting, I think. Listen, Ali, I'm going to take you for a cup of coffee at Delmonico's. They have the best coffee in San Francisco and amazing cookies. And then I'll walk with you to Union Square. Oh, that's really kind of you. Are you sure? Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Okay, great. I'm awful with new cities. I always get lost. Oh, I love your British accent. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes, I really like this sweater. Do you have it in a medium? Let's see. We have it in red and a medium. No, I want it in black. Uh, just a minute. I'll go and check. Here you are, a black medium. Do you want to try it on? No, thanks. I'm sure it'll be fine. How much is it? Forty-three thirty-eight. Oh, it says $39.99. Yes, but that doesn't include sales tax. That's 8.5% extra. Oh, OK. Do you take MasterCard? Yes, of course. Can I help you? Yes. I bought this sweater about half an hour ago. Yes, I remember. Is there a problem? Yes, I've decided it's too big for me. What size is it? Medium. So you need a small. I don't see one here. Do you have any more? I'll go and check. Just a minute. I'm sorry, but we don't have another one in black. Oh, dear. We can order one for you. It'll only take a few days. No, I'm leaving on Saturday. Would you like to exchange it for something else? Not really. Could I have a refund? No problem. Do you have the receipt? Yes. Here you are. Allie, you look great, as usual. How was your morning? Really good. First I went shopping, then I went to the Museum of Modern Art. What did you think of it? It was wonderful, but I didn't have enough time to see it all. Never mind. Maybe next time. What a lovely evening. Hi, Allie. Oh. How's the shopping? Great, thanks. Hi, Mark. And did you like the museum? I hope you didn't get lost again. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know you two were friends already. We met this morning. I got lost. I was trying to find Union Square, and suddenly Brad appeared. So I took her to my favorite coffee shop. Allie, what would you like to drink? I'd like a cocktail, please. A margarita. What a good idea. I'll have one, too. Mark, could you get us a couple of margaritas? So now I'm the waiter, am I? So, uh, tell me about the museum, Allie. What was your favorite painting? Hi, how can I help you? Do you have any painkillers? I have a headache. I'm sorry, we can't give our guests medicine. But we can call a doctor for you if you like. No, it's OK. I don't need a doctor. It's just a cold. But is there a chemist near the hotel? Do you mean a pharmacy? Sorry, that's right, a pharmacy. Sure, there's one right across the street. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, can I help you? I have a bad cold. Do you have something I can take? What symptoms do you have? I have a headache and a cough. Do you have a temperature? No, I don't think so. Does your back hurt? No. Are you allergic to any drugs? I'm allergic to penicillin. No problem. These are aspirin. These will make you feel better. How many do I have to take? Two every four hours. Sorry, how often? Every four hours. If you don't feel better in 24 hours, you should see a doctor. OK, thanks. How much are they? Four seventy-five, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Achoo! Bless you. Are you okay? It's just a cold. I had a bad headache this morning, but I feel better now. Listen, I'm really sorry about last night. What do you mean? At the party, I got kind of angry at Brad. He was really annoying me. Oh, I think he's very nice. Yeah, women always think so. Don't worry, Mark. 
Brad's not my type. So, what is your type, Allie? You know what my type is. Dark hair, 34 years old, lives in San Francisco. Listen, tomorrow's your last day. I want to do something special. What would you like to do? I don't mind. You choose. How about a boat trip around the bay? We could do that in the morning and then have a nice dinner in the evening. That sounds fantastic. It's too bad you can't stay longer. Yes, it's a pity. This week has gone so quickly. I feel I've just arrived and now I'm going home. Well, I'm going to make sure tomorrow is a really special day. Hi, Allie. How are you feeling today? Much better. Oh, good. Are you going to be warm enough with just that sweater? It might be a little cold on the boat. I'll be fine. Are we going to walk to the bay? No, it's too far. It's better if we get a cab. How long does it take by cab? About 10 minutes. And how long's the boat trip? I'm not sure. I think it's an hour. Why? Well, I have to be back here by one. I'm expecting an important phone call. Not from Brad, I hope. Well, actually, no, of course not. From the New York office. Okay, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, sir. What time does the next boat leave? At 10 o'clock. How long does it take? About an hour. And where exactly does the boat go? It goes under the bridge, round Angel Island and past Alcatraz, and then back here. Can we get anything to eat or drink on the boat? Yes, ma'am, there's a snack bar. Can I have two tickets, please? Sure. Two adults. How much is that? That's $40. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, what do you think of San Francisco? It's beautiful, Mark. I love it. Better than London? Not better. Different. Do you think you could live here? No, I don't think so. No? Why? Well, it's a long way from London. I think I'd miss all my family and friends. Could you live somewhere else, but in Europe? Maybe. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I just wondered. On your left, you can see the island of Alcatraz. Look, can you see that building? That used to be the prison, but it was closed in 1963. It's a museum now. Where are we going for dinner tonight? It's a surprise. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. Oh, I'm cold. Do you want to borrow my coat? No, it's okay. I'm going to miss you, Mark. Hey, excuse me. Could you take a photo of us, please? Sure. Uh, you ready? Ready. Say cheese. <laughs> Good afternoon. How can I help you? Hi. I'm leaving tomorrow morning very early. Could you prepare my bill so I can pay this evening? Of course. And could you order me a cab? For what time? My flight's at 9.15, so I have to be at the airport at 7.15. Then you'll need a cab at 6 o'clock. I'll order one for you. Thanks. Oh, and has there been a phone call for me? Oh, yes. There's a message for you. Can you call this number in New York? Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Hello? Uh, hello. Is that MTC? Sorry. You've got the wrong number. Oh, sorry. MTC New York. How can I help you? Hello. Can I speak to Lisa Formosa, please? Just a moment. I'll put you through. Hello? Hi. Is that Lisa? No, I'm sorry. She's not at her desk right now. Can I leave a message, please? Sure. Tell her Ali Gray called. I'll call back in five minutes. MTC New York, how can I help you? Hello, can I speak to Lisa Formosa, please? Just a moment. I'm sorry, the line's busy. Do you want to hold? Okay, I'll hold. Hello? Hi, Lisa. It's Ali Gray. Ali, hi. How's California? Great, great. Well, is it good news or bad news? It's good. You've got the job in Paris. Oh, wonderful. That's fantastic. Thanks for everything. I've had a great time here. Cheers. To us. 
Allie. We need to talk about the future. I mean, about our future. Yes. Allie, I really think we have a future together. I'm serious. So am I, Mark. But the problem is you live here and I live in London. We're 6,000 miles apart. Maybe that's not going to be a problem. I have something to tell you. We're not going to be 6,000 miles apart. We're only going to be 300 miles apart. What do you mean? You know the new MTC office that's opening in Paris next month? Yes. Well, I'm going there. I'm going to be the marketing manager. Isn't that amazing? I'll only be an hour away from you. You're joking. No, I'm serious. What's the matter? Aren't you pleased? You don't look very happy. Yes, I am happy. It's amazing. But I have something to tell you, too. Oh? I'm going to the Paris office, too. I've just heard. That was the phone call I was waiting for. I don't believe it. That's wonderful. We'll be together. Yes. But there's just one little thing, Mark. What's that? I'm going to be the director in Paris. I'm going to be your boss. Hi, I'm Mark Ryder. Ah, you're the new marketing director. That's right. I'm Nicole Delacroix. I'm Ali's personal assistant. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. I'll just tell Ali you're here. Ali, Mark Ryder's here. Okay. You're from San Francisco, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello, Mark. Ali, it's good to see you again. How are you? Very well. Did you have a good journey? Yes, fine, no problems. Let me introduce you to the team. You've met Nicole, my personal assistant. Yes, we've said hello. This is Jacques Lemaitre, our PR director. Uh, how do you do? Mark Ryder, how do you do? And this is Ben Watts, our designer. Hi, Mark. Great to meet you, Ben. We've heard a lot about you. Really? All good, I hope. OK. Should we go to my office? What a lovely view. The river's beautiful, isn't it? Paris is so romantic. I can't believe we're here together at last. Yes, it's weird. Weird? It's wonderful. I really missed you. Me too. Why don't we sit down? So, did you like the office? Yes, it's great. How do you get on with everyone? Okay, but we'll see. I've only been here three weeks. What did you think of them? Oh, I thought Jacques was very nice. And Nicole. What about Nicole? She was very friendly. You know, we have to keep things a secret. What things? You know, us. Our relationship. I don't want the people in the office to know we're together. No, of course not. But it isn't going to be easy. No, it isn't. How's the hotel? Oh, it's okay, I guess. But it's not like having my own place. I have to find an apartment. Don't worry, it won't take you long. What are you thinking? Do you really want to know? I was wondering what kind of boss you'll be. Well, you'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Mark, would you mind sending me those concert dates? Of course not. Ben, are you busy? Me? <laughs> Never. Could you help me? I can't open this document. Sure. Thanks. Hi, Nicole. Could you sign these, please? Sure. Is it OK if I take tomorrow afternoon off? I'm sorry, but tomorrow is really difficult. What about Friday afternoon? Friday? That's fine. Do you think you could send me the request by email? Uh, yes, of course. Hello? Hi, Mark. Could you hold a moment, Mark? Thank you, Nicole. 
Can you come and see me when you have a moment? Have you started looking for an apartment? No, I haven't had time yet. Anyway, it's best to get to know Paris first. Yeah, it's a big city. Huh? Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Maria. <laughs> Very good, Marc. Thanks. That's nearly all the French I know. <laughs> Hi, Beatrice. Yeah, uh, just a minute. Sorry. How would you like the office? Oh, it's great. And the people? Really friendly. I like Ben a lot. He's amazing with computers. And Jacques's a really nice guy. Oh, Jacques, he's very charming. Everybody likes him. And he has a lovely wife. She used to be a pop star when she was young. Have you heard of Isabelle? No, I'm sorry I haven't. She's very pretty. Ali is very attractive too. Ali? Uh, yeah, I guess. Although her clothes are very English. And she's very formal. You know, today I asked her if I could have a day off and she wanted me to send her an email. Well, the English have their funny ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hello, Ali. Hi. Ellie, hi, let me get you a drink. Thanks, I'll have a Diet Coke. Where exactly is it? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay. How far is it? Okay. Okay. Merci. Au revoir. Any luck? I think I found an apartment. How do I get to Belleville? The easiest way is to get the metro at Pyramids. Take line 14 and change at Châtelet. Okay. Then take line 11 towards Meride Lila. Where do I get off? At Belleville. And how many stops is it? Six, I think. Oh, right. I found it on the map. How long does it take to get there? About half an hour. Have you found a flat? Yeah, in Belleville this time. Oh, when are you going to see it? This afternoon. If you can wait till six, I'll give you a lift. I live near Belleville, so I'm driving that way. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. This is the apartment. Merci, madame. Sorry, Nicole, what did she say? She said we can have a look at the flat. She's going to wait downstairs. Thanks. So what do you think? Mm, it's a long way from the station. And it's on the fourth floor. It's a pity there isn't a lift. Who needs one? The stairs are good exercise. Look, there's a great view from here. It's also very noisy. Sure, but it has character. It's just how I imagine an apartment in Paris. Everything's old, including the heating. It will be very cold in the winter. Oh, hi. Well, what's it like? Nice, really Parisian. Are you going to take it? I think so, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you on your own? No, I'm with the woman who owns the apartment. I'll call you back. Okay. Speak later. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Sorry about that. That was... that was my... my daughter. Calling from America? You know, she's just taking an interest. Mm, taking an interest. That's nice. I got a message this morning. It's from Jacques. Ali, it's Jacques. I'm in Rome. My return flight's been cancelled. There's a small problem. Scarlett Scarpino is in Paris for her concert this evening. I was going to look after her today. Could you possibly take care of her? Thank you. 
and see you later. You've met Scarlet Scarpino, haven't you, Ben? <sighs> the punk princess. Yeah, I met her in London last year. What's she like? Let's say she's a bit difficult. What are we going to do with her? Why don't you show her around Paris? I have a better idea. Why don't you show her around Paris? What, me? I'm new here. You can't leave me to do this on my own. Okay, why don't we take her to Notre Dame? I mean, it's her first time in Paris, isn't it? I don't think churches are really her thing. How about taking her on a boat trip? Brilliant. And then we can go up the Eiffel Tower. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll love the view. And she might fall off. Thanks for your help, Ben. Shall we have lunch after that? Let's go somewhere really nice. Do you have any recommendations, Ben? What about La Renaissance? It's Jacques' favorite. That sounds perfect. Uh, Ben, do you want to come too? Sorry, Ali. I'm really busy. But I'm sure you'll have an unforgettable meal. So, Scarlet, what would you like? Nothing. Aren't you hungry? Sure, but this food's really horrible. This is one of the finest restaurants in Paris. Well, I can't eat this stuff. I never touch meat. The seafood looks good. Hey, fish have feelings too. What about the mushroom risotto? Mushrooms? No way. Didn't they tell you guys about my allergies? <laughs> I'm allergic to mushrooms, strawberries, nuts. Shall we go someplace else? Whatever. I'm going to the restroom. Well, that was a disastrous morning. The boat trip made her feel sick and she wouldn't go up the Eiffel Tower. I can't stand heights. It's a pity we didn't just take her shopping. She's so spoiled. Oh, come on. She's just a kid, really. So, what are we going to do about lunch? Shall we leave now? No, hang on. I have an idea. Let me talk to the waiter. Monsieur. <clears throat> do you think you could possibly do me a favor? Yes, of course, sir. What would you like? Well, I think this place is great. Mm. More wine, Ali? No, thanks. Mademoiselle. What's this? It's your lunch, Scarlet. But I didn't order anything. Hey. Pizza margarita. Cool. That was a great concert last night, Scarlett. Thanks. As we know, Scarlett's got a new CD coming out soon, so let's have a look at the best way we can promote it in France. Okay. Well, I think Scarlett should visit the major music stores. In my opinion, that's the best way to meet her fans. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jacques? Actually, I don't agree with Marc. Scarlett isn't commercial in that way. Scarlett. Scarlett. I agree with Jacques. I don't have a commercial image. It isn't my style. Okay, but Scarlett needs more publicity. What about a series of TV and radio interviews? Don't you agree? Yes, but that's what everybody does. What we want is something different. Personally, I think Scarlett should tour clubs and summer festivals. She can DJ, play her favorite music, play the new CD, and meet her fans, too. Yes, absolutely. That's a much better idea. Mark. Okay, why not? Scarlett? I think... That's a great idea. <sighs> Thank you, Jacques. It's great to be on our own again. Yeah? Is this the first time you've been to the Louvre? Uh-huh. What's the matter? Is this about the meeting? Because I agreed with Jacques and not with you. Yeah, well, we knew it wouldn't be easy. Working together, I mean. Oh, it's difficult for me as well. But if I don't agree with you... I know, I know. You're the boss. And I have to do my job. I really thought that Jacques' idea was better, and 
So did Scarlet. It's not a big deal, Allie. I'm fine, really. So who exactly was the Mona Lisa? I'm not sure. I think she was the wife of a banker. Is that why she's smiling? Because her husband has a good salary. <gasps> I also read somewhere that she was a self-portrait of Leonardo. A self-portrait? You're kidding. Now, I don't know much about art, but Leonardo da Vinci was a man, right? Well, it's just a theory. Why do you think she's smiling? Well, in my opinion, she's the managing director of a music company. <laughs> what? She lives in Paris, she's in love with her marketing director, and she has a lot of fun telling him what to do. <laughs> That's really unfair. Hey, we're not in the office now. You can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Good idea. Don't turn around. What is it? I've just seen Ben from the office. Where? I said, don't look. I don't think he's seen us. Let's get out of here. Come on. Hi. Hi. Hello. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, yeah. You'll never guess who I saw on Saturday. Who? Ali and Mark. In the Louvre, together. Really? <laughs> You're joking. It was definitely them. And they looked really close. I think they were holding hands. No. I don't believe it. It's true, I'm telling you. And I think they saw me because they turned and left really quickly. Oh. Are you serious? You know, I'm not surprised. I think they've been seeing each other ever since Mark arrived. Or maybe even before. That's incredible. What makes you say that? When I went to look at Mark's new apartment, I'm sure Ali called him on his mobile. And I've seen her looking at him in a certain way. Hey, quiet, everyone. It's Mark. Hi. Good morning. Bye. Dear all, please find attached a copy of the latest sales report from the USA. Mark. So, did you guys have a good weekend? Yes, fine. Not bad. Very quiet. What about you, Mark? Oh, I spent most of the time at home, just being domestic, you know. The apartment's looking pretty nice now. You must come around for a meal one evening. That would be very nice. So didn't you go out at all? Oh, sure. I went to the Louvre on Saturday. I felt like getting a bit of culture. On your own? Yeah. I kind of prefer going to museums and galleries on my own. You can look at everything at your own pace. That's funny. I went to the Louvre on Saturday, too. Really? I, I, I didn't see you. Well, it's a big place. I didn't see you either. I've just had an email from Ali. So have I. Me too. Dear Mark, thank you for the information and thank you, darling, for a wonderful weekend, Ali. Mark Ryder. Mark, can you come in? Sure. Thanks for the sales report. I think there's something more important to talk about right now. What do you mean? That message you sent me? You hit reply to all. You sent it to everyone in the office. Oh, no, you're joking. Oh, Mark, I'm so sorry. I did it without thinking. It's all right, Allie. It's an easy mistake to make. How could I be so stupid? I just wasn't concentrating. Allie. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. But I think we should talk to the others. Yes, you're right. I'll do it. It was my fault. Listen, everybody. I just want to say that I'm terribly sorry I haven't been honest with you. Um, we, Mark and I, well... That's okay, Ali. We had already guessed. It wasn't really a surprise. <gasps> Oh, 
I still can't work out how they knew about us. I was always really careful not to treat you differently. But you were really hard on me. Mark, I wasn't. Oh, you were just being fair and very British. So if it wasn't me, it must have been you. What? I've got my own office. You're with them all the time. You must have said something. You're hopeless at keeping secrets. Don't blame me. This wasn't my fault. They probably just guessed. How? You know the French. They're experts on love affairs. Maybe. Actually, I think it's great that everyone knows. Now we don't have to pretend anymore. Yeah, that's true. Allie, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. I just haven't said anything. But it's now or never. Allie, will you marry me? Sorry, Mark, I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> I said, will you marry me? Yes, I will. Was that a yes? Yes! <laughs> Can you confirm that in an email for me? Just don't send it to everyone in the office this time. 